Do I build a web app with Flutterflow? I'm so torn on this. I've been losing sleep at night trying to figure out if Flutterflow is the right choice for Ambitious Labs for us to build the version 3.0 of our custom learning platform. So Ambitious Labs is the world's biggest school that teaches people how to build apps without code. We've developed our own kind of methodology, curriculum, AI tools, and we launched around eight months ago uh, with an MVP product. And we built this product in Flutterflow and then we prematurely detached from Flutterflow a little too early. Um, so now we actually have to maintain this code with Flutter and we have a bunch of ideas and a bunch of like manual systems and processes that we want to start automating, right? Our coaching team is like booking calls by hand, keeping track of how many calls are being booked, recording the transcriptions. You know, we have a coaching calendar that's like separately on Notion. We have like a recording database of like a hundred and something coaching calls on Notion. And it's just a big kind of uh, fragmented mess, but this is how startups are built. And we're really, really proud of being at this position because it may seem messy for us inside, but on the outside, we have a bunch of students who are loving everything that we're doing. But as a responsible business owner and startup founder, I want to consolidate everything and start kind of streamlining all the processes. We've been getting great feedback from our students, fantastic reviews, and some constructive feedback that allows us to build a product that our students actually want. So we are now trying to decide is Flutterflow the right choice for us to build our web platform? Whatever you see here on my page is actually all built in Flutter, and we're really, really proud of it. Like, we've scaled up to, you know, 350 students, like over 2,000 users on, on the Lab Dash, and we're just overall very happy with where it got us, but we're just trying to poke as many holes as we can into the idea of building our VC-backed company. Like, we've raised, you know, over 300K, um, we have inbound interest from a lot of investors. We have been growing. Our students are launching apps. We want to invest in our students' apps. There's a lot of stuff that we want to do. And so like with this ambitious vision, no pun intended, I just want to make sure that the tech stack that we choose now is something that we can scale up on long term, right? Um, we're deciding between Flutterflow. We're deciding between WeWeb. We said the word bubble a few times, but I ain't going to bubble. It's either going to be Flutterflow or WeWeb. The worst case scenario is that we hire a software engineer and we build this using full stack react, but I really don't want to have to code anything. Um, I would rather build it all in Flutterflow and then live, die, preach that you can absolutely build apps with Flutter and Flutter, Flutterflow for web. But like I said, the, the limitation is not Flutterflow or maybe I haven't said it yet, but the limitation is not Flutterflow. The limitation is Flutter for web. So I've been staying up like a bunch, just trying to, you know, research like how is Flutter for web and I've done um, you know, a little bit of research, I've kind of found, you know, that Flutter is working on, you know, web bind web assembly bindings and improving the performance for web. But like, I don't know, like, I, I just like, I, I can't commit to using Flutter yet. And so I posted a bunch on, on, on Twitter, and I've got a lot of really cool people to respond and give me some great feedback. You know, one guy says, I, I wouldn't suggest Flutterflow for web apps at all. We've been doing all web apps on Bubble or React. And then, you know, Leia, the uh, um, head of product at Flutter, excuse me, the head of developer relations at Flutterflow, she used to work at Flutter as well. I met her in person. She actually jumped in and said, you know, why do you, what do you find bad about Flutter for web apps? She's not pushing back. She just wants to know what her perception is. So I kind of stirred up this whole conversation about, you know, Flutter for web and someone says, you know, very poor performance on web. And someone says, how recently did you try? Is this just Flutterflow or Flutter itself? She says the Flutter team has been working on a ton of web performance stuff. Um, and then I also chipped in, I actually have a call set up with Leia and we're going to be talking about like the future of Flutter and Flutterflow. Hopefully she can help me guide my decision into committing to, you know, Flutterflow. Normally I'm not one to like really overthink tech stack, but I do think the biggest problem right now, technology wise for Flutterflow is just like the no brainer. Yes. Checkbox, uh, for people trying to build web-based apps. So Leia's awesome. I know that she'll help me, you know, find some uh, clarity, but it's still a really hard decision to make. And then we jumped over to WeWeb for a bit. Um, I think WeWeb has opportunity. Um, I've jumped into it. It has a really kind of standard, you no know, no code app builder layout. They've, they all kind of look the same. At least the high end ones look the same. The one thing I like about WeWeb is that you can code export, but, um, I haven't actually R and D the quality of the code yet. I will soon. Um, and they also like cap you out at monthly app visits. And I don't want to build a company where I'm paying somebody else, uh, especially WeWeb. I'll pay Firebase. I'll pay RevenueCat. I'll pay, 
you know, a hosting service, but I'm really not trying to pay like a company uh, as my venture, you know, skills. I, I don't think that's reasonable. I, I want to have control, which is one reason I'm, I'm gearing toward Flutterflow. Um, so yeah, there was this conversation and then looking a, a bit back, um, we had some other conversations going on. One person said that they still don't use Flutter. Um, you know, one person says, you know, if you bootstrapped your way with a tech founder and a business founder with low code and then two hires at seed to make it rock, pretty much what they're saying is like, start lean, build the app yourself, um, you know, use low code, no code tools. And then potentially like when you go raise VC, which is what seed means, like whenever you go raise that million, two million, three million seed round, you can then at that point decide, hey, do I want to build my own platform? Um, this person says, here's a durable flow. Flutter flow and Superbase is a good start. And I, I, I agree. I think if you're on the more advanced side, like I see newbie, beginner, intermediate, and then advanced. And advanced is a, lo a lot of the people who come from like development backgrounds. I think intermediate and advanced can definitely um, play with the Flutter flow and Superbase stack, but I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. This guy literally just says, I wouldn't suggest Flutterflow for web apps at all. Like, I don't really um, get excited off of that. And someone else says, probably not to be honest, we use WeWeb for all web work. But what's like super sad is that like, I really want to use Flutterflow. Like, I love the interface of Flutterflow. I love how easy they've, you know, uh, made it to make apps. And it's just awesome. Like, but it's just really concerning that I can't commit to it. I do have a builder in my community who has built like this really robust web platform in Flutterflow. Um, I used it, it works really well. Like all the CRUD logic, the business logic, everything works really well, except um, you can see that there are some lags. Like when you're scrolling through big lists or when you're clicking between links pretty quickly, there is definitely some lag there and it's obvious. And I really don't wanna give my users that experience. That's one. Another is like, if we go raise 2 million in seed, which I wanna do later this year, um, do I see this product being something that I can scale a ton of user acquisition to, or am I going to have to rebuild it? And I hate going into a business knowing that I'm going to have to rebuild something. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'll keep you posted. Ambitious Labs is growing really quickly. If you're interested in learning more about our programs, um, definitely hit us up. Uh, I'll leave a link in the comments to book a free discovery call. 